Good evening. The Orlando Garden coming at you. And we are having a good day. Why are we having a good day? One, because we are in the land of the living. And let me tilt this up a little bit. Y'all can see me. I think that's going to be a little bit better. Better chatter, better. Yes. Uh, we're in the land of the living. And not only that, but it's taste testing time. Oh, it's okay. She's good. Y'all see that? Looks like a, a unripened mango. Ugly green. The center is ripening a little bit more in the outer perimeter of it. And it's sad when mangoes do that, but it's not sad to have this one because this is take a guess sugarloaf yeah <laughs> it doesn't get as pretty and as orangey as the phoenix phoenix on the outside is beautiful on the inside is beautiful and Phoenix actually tastes pretty good. But when you get a newbie that comes in and you have a major leaguer, ah, uh, but I have nothing against the Phoenix. Phoenix is a good piece of fruit. Good traditional solid mango. And that's good. But to the sugar loaf. We're going to do some cutting. I think you already seen we've done some cutting. Now hopefully the camera don't, don't fall because I'm using only one tray today. And uh, okay, that's it close to the seed. Sugar loaf close to the seed. It doesn't get very, very, very uh, Yellow, it's, it's like a whitish, yellowish. Uh, you don't have to worry about any fiber. Just worry about eating this piece of fruit. And uh, Miss Orlando Garden knew something was going on. Because normally when I eat a mango, I'm pretty talkative. But I was eating this sugar loaf, y'all. I was very quiet. <laughs> and so we're going to show you what the slices look like. That's it from the side. And even if you look at it here, you see it has like a white look. Whitish, yellowish. So it's, it's not a very pretty, pretty, pretty mango outside and in. But that doesn't matter. American people are the ones that's, that's caught up in looks. And I'm told that other countries all dialed in about flavor. So let's see if sugar loaves have changed since last year. It haven't changed. It's still good. <laughs> oh my. Miss Orlando Garden, would you like to come over and taste a piece? No, I guess not. I'll send you a piece. Here you go. Let's see her response. Let me see y'all. She's smiling, y'all. Thumbs up. <laughs> she knew something was going on over here. Again, y'all, you can't be Sugarloaf. And you can see what the Zill brothers were talking about when they talked about the uneven ripening. 
I've had three this season. I got one more besides this one. And each one of them, pretty much all of them, ripens unevenly. Um, I'm told that the tree grows really, really slow. Here you go, honey. Now, let me tell y'all something. The mango got to be good for her to go back for a second when she's over there waiting for a piece. But uh, it, uh, I'm told the tree grows really slow. And um, mm, I don't care. It can grow as slow as it wants. As long as it produces this, we we in good shape. Now, the phoenix, good fruit. Tried it today for the first time. This is not a Phoenix versus Sugarloaf. This is just Sugarloaf and Phoenix. This is Phoenix. Y'all, Phoenix smells good. I mean, it's like you can smell. Phoenix. Now, now Phoenix doesn't smell as good as Zin. Uh, uh, Z, uh, 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 Blin. Uh, but it it does smell. It smells really good. It's not as good as the Sugarloaf, but it is a really good piece of fruit. Phoenix is a good mango. Nice and orangey. It seems to ripen fairly e uh, evenly. See Phoenix? It's a little one, but nevertheless. The color's pretty on the inside and the outside. Okay, it's a good piece of fruit. I'm going to give this to Miss Orlando Gardner and see what she think about the Phoenix. And uh, I'm going to eat a piece too. Let's see. Good mango. No complaint. No fiber. I'm watching her to see her response. What do you think, Miss Orlando Gardner? She got a little smile. Yeah, she's smiling. She says it's good. It is. Nothing wrong with the phoenix. If I didn't have a yard full of fruit, trees, I would add this one to the garden. Okay. What y'all want to know. Uh Oh, phoenix, no fiber. No fiber all the way down to the seed. Traditional peachy. Mango flavor, traditional peachy slash mango flavor. Next to the skin, it get turpentine down next to the skin, but good. It's a uh, it kind of melt in your mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna do something crazy. I just bit in the sugar loaf. Okay, the Phoenix is sweet and it just melt like ice cream. Kind of like a carry. And the sugar loaf is firm. You got to chew it. But both of them are enjoyable. Of course, sugar loaf has lost no brownie points here in the Orlando Gardner's house. Uh, it's still a 10 plus. Uh, I'm going to give the Phoenix on a scale of 1 to 10. Listen, I don't have anything bad to say about the Phoenix except maybe down to the skin. And that's not really bad. You know, got an all flavor down next to the skin. Phoenix is good. I'll give Phoenix a 9. I'll give it a Phoenix a 9. So, uh, y'all be safe on this Friday night. Have a good one. We're going to finish the rest of these fruit. And um, I will be get back to you real soon. All right. Orlando Gardner coming at you. Y'all have a good one.